Okay, so we're going to story mode. Oh my gosh, all these characters are coming yes. back. Yeah, so... And we're going to play on easy for this round and normal on the next round, so... All right, and time starts as soon as I press the button here, so... Okay. Uh, I'll just give a quick countdown. Um, three, two, one, go. Nice. All right, so we mashed through. Like, this is a game is mostly load times. So we mashed through a bunch of stuff. Okay, so... You see those round gems. Basically, it's individual puzzles. I need to clear all the round gems off of the stage. Uh, easy mode gives me three minutes per stage to do it. Um, and as you can see, we used all three minutes there. Hey, <laughs> you yeah. did it. I'm proud of you. Why is this so cute? <laughs> I mean, it is based on an anime from it the is. 90s, no less. It is. Another solid three minutes. Yes. You did it. <laughs> I did it. So uh, it should be noted, easy mode is very easy um, for the well. most part. Uh, getting three minutes per stage is a lot of time. And I mean, some of the later stages do get tricky that if you're not um, really skilled at the game, it can take a while. Um, but normal mode gets quite a bit more yeah. difficult and we'll explain those mechanics when we get there. So that was a slow stage. Oh. Took us almost eight <laughs> seconds. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you didn't even have to get a Tetris, dang it. <laughs> also, for easy mode, the randomizer is real interesting. <laughs> There's a pay, randomizer for this game. Pay attention. There are times I might get like seven or eight eyepieces in a row. Oh, wow. Huh. So, and then each stage, the story here, um, this is actually based off of season three of the anime. Oh, okay. Um, and so, all the cards have been lost, and we need to go get them back, basically. Heck. So, so each what part stage of this is, is the cloud? Uh, <laughs> it's been a while. You're asking questions about lore that I just don't know. <laughs> We have Incredible. a $10 donation from Claris with comment, girl, girl. Also, Claris asks which Thank donation you. incentives are there for, well, donation incentives in total. I will do that in Thank chat. Thank you but for the donation, Claris, and the girl, girl. Also, uh, we are attempting to get up to $800 before the beginning of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, which is again at 8 p.m. or shortly before that, uh, central time tonight. Uh, wherein all character or all players will use a random character vehicle and add-on. And if we get up to $1,000 before that, well, I'll turn on steering assist and use tilt controls because, yeah. P.S. We don't really want to do that, but please, P.P.S., uh, get your donations in so we have to do it. Yeah, please do. It's for the kids. It is for the kids. We also have a bid war that closes at 11 p.m. this evening uh, for Light's uh, Alien Isolation run on PC to choose between Italian, Spanish, French, German, and English. Uh, for which language is used in that run. Those are in order from fastest to slowest. I just did bang incentives inside of chat there. That will bring you to a web page for you to view this lovely document that we have prepared. It's so adorable. Was that a yata? Yeah, yata. 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 So she says yata whenever you clear a line that doesn't have a gem in it. So uh, that's a lot of yata. That is a <laughs> yellow. Yeah, yata. I did not get a very favorable piece sequence for that stage to do it optimally, unfortunately. So this is an interesting stage. I have a setup that I'm not going to do because it's not marathon safe at all. Uh, shoot. Oh, shoot. That's real bad. Yeah, I was going to say, that, that didn't want to kick in there. No, I rotated too early. Okay. 
Hey, nice. Oh, this is a thing. I lost two gems. Normally, I only lose one gem. Yata. 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 Am I doing it right? No. You, oh. <laughs> no, you got to say it with that same enthusiasm. Yata! Got to be excited. We're getting the cards or something. Ah, Claris is putting in for uh, hard mode toward wheels. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. All right. Well, we got to get our tracker. Pull up our here. tracking sheet here. Yeah. I got to do oh, There's that a link the at the top of the dilly bops. Yeah, but I can't edit it here. Oh, right. <laughs> Working so on it. This stage is kind of an auto scroller. Every seven pieces, garbage comes up from the bottom, and we have to get so many rows of garbage because gems are in those rows. Also, it likes to hide my piece, my next piece from me, so. Yeah, that's rude. We'll see that again in the same stage. So a lot of these themes of these stages uh, appear in normal mode as well, mm. but the stages are quite a bit more difficult, so. <laughs> oh, it's just adorable. <laughs> I really need an eyepiece. <laughs> I was going to say, <laughs> those yeah, eyepiece dependencies, though. Hmm. Nice. Combo! Love it. Yeah, sometimes the strategies in these stages are such that you really just want to, like, throw pieces out of your way until you get the right piece. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. I like the music. It's yeah, good. the music in this game is really good. Uh, actually, I want to do that. Hmm. Hmm. That was one of those things where I wanted specific pieces for those things. Makes sense. Because if you start covering those holes, it gets real ugly real fast. Yeah, no doubt. wanting to sing along with that menu theme. But you don't hear it enough to really do that. That's true. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, that's rude. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Like, it did not slow me down at all. Fair. That's... It looks worse to a viewer than it does to the player. And Claris is, oh god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a big cat thing. It is a big cat thing. Meow. Thud. I'm just going to keep throwing out random Japanese words. Uh, yeah, okay. Killer. <laughs> so that's a cool one. It's... Um, wood is the stage, and it looks like a tree, and it looks like the tree grows the way the garbage comes in. It's a Just real cool aesthetic. That phrase taken out of context. <laughs> the, cre or the tree grows more as garbage comes in. Yeah, there yeah. you go. Yeah. Yeah, that's <laughs> just science. Yeah, you're not Perfectly cromulent science. Oh. Hmm. Well, you can get a double there, at least. So what is that, like, drum noise? Oh, shoot. Well, this is the thunder stage, so... Okay. So that was played a bit poorly on my part, so... Mm. Miss rotations happen. Also, I'm playing my lap, which I'm not used to doing, so... That's a bummer.
So are there modes beyond easy and normal in this game? Um, there are, uh... Um... Uh, sorry. Okay. Nice. Um, there, there's a versus mode, um, but so it's like story mode and then the versus mode, and then there, like you can unlock different characters and for versus mode, and like there's all kinds of stuff you can unlock in the game, but nice. um, it's mostly just uh, this and then versus. So. Nice. <laughs> Not quite a bravo, but I'll take it. <laughs> uh, it. There were two pieces left, so I would have needed to clear two more lines to get a bravo. Uh. You have to clear uh, zero mod four Deva. lines. Hmm. Makes sense. Okay. Uh, shoot. Whoa. Advanced T spins. And that was watery. <laughs> All right. So this next <laughs> stage is the last stage, and I'll tell you, time comes up when the card is full, and like you can fully see the front of the card, and the like the animation stuff has stopped. Okay. So. Um, and this next stage has kind of a fun gimmick. Hmm. So it's actually two cards that we get, light and dark. Whoa. So we have to play in two wells. Dang. It self-doubles. That's a cat dragon thing. I knew that guy was evil from the start. I mean, right? yeah. But clearly. Like, who does he think he's fooling? Let's <laughs> start. Whoa. Ah, I see. Ah. Okay. I was just kind of like, what What sort of nonsense is this going to be? Oh. Hmm. Yeah. Well. But they're the same well on both sides? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Got me all hyped up there thinking that you'd have two actually disparate wells. Yeah, that piece randomizer is kind of janky at times, isn't it? There we go. Nice. So time comes when both of the cards are done animating. So they'll do this and then after the animation stuff stops, so... Time. 12.58. Not bad. Barely skating under estimate. Alright. Okay. Uh, are we going to just jump right into normal mode? Well, so credits are going to roll, well, so I have to reset the console because credits ah. go kind of long. So I got give you. me just a moment. No worries. And the estimate for normal mode is 20 minutes, right? Yeah, it's fine. I have a couple things I just want to verify that I've got here. Story mode normal, clear out the timer, dashboard is still the same. Yep, everything looks good. Alright. Player one is unmuted. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Also, it's a good thing I reset before credits because that would cause YouTube to say that the video had copyrighted content and we couldn't. Oh. <laughs> because of the song in the credits. Oh, yeah, wonderful. I got you. We don't have a memory card, so we can't save. Okay. This is adorable. It's so cute. <laughs> so, Who is that bouncing little teddy bear thing? Is that Kiro or something? I honestly don't know the lore oh, again. Lore. I've never seen the show. I just know that it's based off of season, season three. three. Yeah. So, <laughs> so basically, we awesome. need to go and find go Card Capture Sapper and watch it. Yeah, basically. 
So, okay, so this is normal mode. Um, I can explain stuff as I'm going, because as you saw before, there's a lot of downtime between stages. Uh, but it's basically the same concept, just more difficult puzzles, so. Fair enough. Uh, so I'll go three, two, one, go. And it's the same uh, story, so. Uh, the difference is this time, instead of three minutes per stage, we have 20 minutes across all 18 stages. Whoa. Ah. Explains. Hence the estimates. Yeah. Okay. So, um. Dang. Ooh. I mean, why not <laughs> at that point? <laughs> it's a big old garbage stack. So that's why what I'm talking about. If I don't, if I'm looking for a specific piece, I just do that. <laughs> well, we have a $25 donation from Mrs. of Numbers. Thank you very, very oh, much. Thank you, Mrs. of Numbers. I love you. <laughs> that's my wife. No comment though. <laughs> Sorry. I don't get any fun like Leo things to talk about this time. Sadly. Oh. I did get a cute picture of Leo earlier, so... I mean, any picture of Leo is pretty cute, gotta say. True. Come on, Ivies. Hey. Nice. So yeah, these stages definitely are a bit trickier. And they will only continue to get more, more and more difficult. So. Fair enough. But so the timer doesn't count um, when you're not in actual gameplay. So right uh, now that 20 minutes isn't going down. Got but it. it is. It's actually a, like so. I won't run into that time. Um, but for um, a new player or um, someone who's not. Uh, oh shoot. That T spin didn't go the way that we thought it would. Uh, I spun before I dropped. Uh oh. Um, you know, I'm on. actually gonna <laughs> retry. <laughs> Does the retry put time back on the clock frame? Yeah. Okay. So you actually, um, if you were to play this casually, um, uh, you would likely have to replay stages to get a faster time to give you enough time. Oh, I see. So, I thought it was uh, you get a timer and you just get 20 minutes good luck. Except for the cutscenes. No, so it's, okay. you can replay stages to get more time back, so... I got you. Um, That's pretty cool. So, yeah, but it makes it actually rather difficult for um, a new player. You'll often have to replay stages multiple times to... Um, uh, let's... Do this, okay. Give me an eyepiece, please. Uh, I didn't want to do that. Shoot, I'm gonna. I messed that right up. It's okay. Okay. Wow, that's some finagling there. Hey. That's way better. <laughs> I don't like to restart stages like that, but it is, especially for marathons and keeping underestimate, a good strategy. Fair enough. We're holding you to it. <laughs> We're totally not ahead right now because of your other games uh, going of course better not. than anticipated. Oh, One Mind went way better than anticipated. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that went real well. And, well, you get to play it again soon. So just to put things into context, um, even with the easy mode run, we're at 4.02, and we were supposed to start normal mode at 4, so... Okay. We're even ahead of that. <laughs> nice. 
And we're getting awful close to that $800 donation incentive. Sure are. We Only are. $39.39.99. There you go. <laughs> Away from hitting that 800 bucks, which means all of us participating in the Mario Kart 8 Come Deluxe on. race will have to choose random characters, random carts, and random add-ons. Yep. And Claris, you are not alone. <laughs> Like, I'm used to the Puyo style of punishing you for heart dropping. What's that? Uh, Claris mentioned that the quick drop without locking is totally throwing her off. Yeah, it's such a nice mechanic, though. Once you get used to it, it's real hard to go back to something else. Oh, no, I can totally imagine. I think that would be pretty neat. It does, like, it did take me a solid, like, month of playing TGM2 before I was really used to it. Hmm. So, I didn't mention this before, this game is based off of basically the TGM2 engine, so... Oh. That explains the special... Uh... End credits, color flickery thing that was going on. Although that was, uh... Was that an item mode that was kind of going after there? I don't know. So I got a real cool spin because I got the Z piece to start out with, which was... I got to clear the first row of gems real fast. That's pretty cool. Which was nice. Now <laughs> they're baking a cake. Oh, that's so yes. cute. I mean, 90s anime. Could go for a cake. Cake is pretty good. Not it's, gonna lie. Nah. It's a perfect day to bake a perfect cake. Uh, you gotta do your cooking by the book, though. This oh, is how one, Tetris is normally played. There's one stage where it's real bad that I need very specific pieces multiple times. Nice. So it gets fun throwing pieces off to the side on that, that stage. Yeah. Oh, hello sheep and... Uh, oh, those yeah, those sheep were falling horns, during so. the stage. I didn't notice them, did you? No. No. I guess I'm so used to looking past that stuff now. Mm. I must be improving. <laughs> I know I'm going to get hecked with, with TGM2, though. Wait, so all the orbs are gone. Why? Why? Oh, I see. Yeah, it's this, uh, the garbage rising mechanic. It's Super Tetris style. Ah, uh, shoot. I really need... Got a down stack. <laughs> I know, I really need an eyepiece. Hey, look at that. I'm surprised it doesn't top you out there. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I did a bad, so we're gonna have to down stack a bunch. Sakura's getting really excited about it, so everything's fine. She's really proud. Oh. I'm... Yeah, you know, not worth it. So I'm just going to keep the stack low this time. Tap 
Tetris. Finally. Tetrisu? Puyo Crimes doesn't have anything on this. <laughs> yeah, that was faster than down stacking through all that stuff. Yeah, no doubt. But the strat is to try to clear as few extra lines as possible, and so I was trying to go for a little bit more optimal strat before, and I just failed it because I didn't stack cleanly enough. Fair enough. Got too many eyepiece dependencies. Yeah. And too few eyepieces. Okay, so... It's funny how that works. Um... Uh, I'm gonna... That's a neat stage to do optimally. I clearly didn't do it optimally, but it's kind of a fun stage. <laughs> Has some neat uh, opportunities for some neat twists. Okay, so this is a real fun stage. Because we really just want to clear specific lines. And we did it. Hmm. Um, if you try to play that more, like, more traditional Tetris to downstack to it, it gets real ugly real fast. Hmm. But if you stack intelligently and only clear the lines with the gems, uh, it goes really quickly. So... Shoot, okay. It's fun maneuvering under things like that when the rainbow effect is going on. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this one's so... That one, the garbage comes up very quickly on that stage, so it, it can put you in a bind very quickly. I think it's like every four pieces the garbage comes up another row, so... Hmm. So this is the stage I was talking about before, where I need specific... Oh, no, I need to start that over. I messed that up. Should not have played that eyepiece where I did. Um, okay. Huh. 
I thought you were going to do something terrible, like snake an eyepiece all the way through to the bottom or something. Oh, no, I don't think there's room for that. Um, <laughs> I was just like, oh. No, uh, but you, you just awful. use the L and J pieces to clear out. Makes sense. The eyepiece went too low. I couldn't get a, uh, an L under it, so that's why I had to restart. That's fair. So this is a real cool stage. Hmm. It's very Dr. Mario-esque. That's another one to do, like, with a good piece sequence to do it optimally is really cool. Nice. Hey, it's the Clow. There's that thing I was asking about. That's the only thing I that, remember no, from the show. No, that's Glow is the dang that it. stage. Dang it, dang it, dang Each it. stage is named after the card you get from it, so. Makes sense. I only remember walking over to my next door neighbor's house and watching it on TV for, like, a few episodes because she was pretty into it. Oh, I did the wrong rotation. GG me. So it would have you believe that you need to downstack all of that stuff in order to get to the bottom, but you're instead just getting down there with eyepieces. That makes sense. Well, I would normally do it a different way, but I kind of messed it up, so... There we go. <laughs> I When I rotated the... If I would have cleared with the J when I rotated it incorrectly at the beginning, I would have had a wider path that I could have gotten more I got you. Uh, mm. pieces down there with, so... Fair enough. Uh, and next is an infamous stage, Watery. If you don't know why this stage is infamous, you need to watch the AGDQ 2017 race between myself and Kevin DDR, so... Um... I think I will have to go watch that race because that didn't seem that bad. Yeah. <laughs> So what did Kevin heck up? I'm not going to spoil anything. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. All right, and now we're on to light and dark. So this is the final stage. Uh, we play in two wells yet again. And this time with garbage, so... Here's that cat dragon thing again. Yeah, that's the thing that I'm used to seeing from the show. The transmutation circle? Yeah, exactly. Shoot, shoot, shoot. We can recover that. Oh yeah, there's plenty of time to recover because there's a lot of garbage that has to happen. Is this another downstack the game kind of level? Uh, kind of. So it, it follows a specific pattern. Um, and so the red blocks are the last. So I think red comes after green. And then that's the end of the garbage. So I got you. And 
And so time is coming up again once the card stops animating. Time. All right, 1945. Awesome. Got real close. <laughs> Twice. So there we go. That is uh, both easy and normal modes of Tetris the Card Captor Sakura Eternal Heart. So gonna uh, get set up next. We have myself and Tormod with TGM, Tetris the Grandmaster, uh, an uh, exhibition of TGM 1 and 2. So. Yep. Um, it's going to be a real doozy. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guess just a moment to get all that stuff set up, and we will return in just a bit. <laughs> 